if you use a photo camera or a video camera then you might want to watch this video to understand how the zebra stripes in these cameras and some monitors can help you expose your image properly hey guys i'm desclefori and welcome to this channel if you're new here I do reviews upload educational content while trying to entertain you at the same time anytime so if you haven't already hit that subscribe button smash that bell to you wouldn't miss anything i upload okay all right so the zebra pattern is a tool in your photo and video camera that reveals which part of your image is getting blown out now what it does is overlay some striped patterns over the areas of your image that appears too bright like you can see right here and this zebra pattern you can see here is only an indication that this area of the frame is getting too bright and might be losing some details because it's getting overexposed so to correct it we can either bring down the exposure a little to reduce the amount of stripes visible to the point where they are almost gone or we can decide to make it disappear entirely and um, we can do that either by reducing the amount of light present in the scene or by increasing the f number of the aperture and this would reduce the amount of light passing through the lens now the zebra pattern you were seeing on the monitor is just an overlay that's only indicating where to watch out for in the frame and it's in no way part of your final image when taking a photo neither is it part of what's being recorded when making a video like in my case right now i also need to point out that the zebra pattern doesn't control your exposure in any way it only helps you expose your image properly now with that being said let me turn on the zebra tool and go through the various setting i'm using the sony a6400 so i'll just go into the menu get into the movie tab one then to page six and scroll down to the fourth line where the zebra pattern is located and is already on in my camera in the zebra level tab we have the option of choosing between different exposure threshold limits starting from 70 percent exposure level all the way to 100 plus now your threshold of choice depends on whether you are trying to expose for your whole scene or you are exposing for your subject and 70 to 80 percent are said to be more like a generic IRE used for exposing many skin tones and it's ideal when exposing for a subject in a portrait shot or in a scene where the subject is filling the major part of the frame and when this is the case you make the zebra appear slightly on the part of your subject known for highlights you know the uh, uh, you know okay i hear a lot of people say 70 ire or 70 percent the zebra level is for exposing white skins or caucasian skins but i wouldn't take that for a standard because different mode calls for different exposure styles so your exposure level would vary from time to time if you want your exposure to sell the mode you are going for when an overall scene is being considered then 100 to 100 plus would be the ok level to use so with this setting when the stripes begin to appear in any area of your frame then you know your highlights are at the point of losing details so you might want to bring them down a notch you know with a C1 and C2, we have the option to set any exposure level of our choice starting from 0 to 109, with 109 being very white, as in clipping white. You know? These two custom areas are for setting specific exposure values you want to use for specific scenes. When we set the lower limit exposure value to, let's say, 60%, then we are telling the zebra pattern to kick in and warn us when any area of our image appears brighter than the 60% exposure threshold limit we just died in it's just like we saw earlier with the other threshold but something particular about the custom setting is the ability to set a standard exposure range now here's where things get a little interesting when i choose a standard range exposure this time the zebra pattern will appear only on areas of my frame that falls within that level of exposure anything below or above that level would not have the zebra overlay on it. I particularly like this one because you can use it to determine the exposure level of any particular object in your frame, especially if you know what the right exposure should be and you are checking to see if your exposure is okay. But if you don't know what the right exposure should be, this function can definitely help you with that. So guys, there you have it. I hope you found this video very helpful and don't forget to leave a like and share your thoughts with me in the comment section. And if you haven't already subscribed, mm, please do that. I'll very much appreciate it. So until my next video, peace.